So today we're going to be taking a look at how you can fix this error additional authentication needed if you've been getting this error on your xbox it's just sort of an, an alternative mac address and you click on and you click authenticate now it doesn't really do much for you all it does is just print this web page and nothing ever happens so there's one way you can try first which is the way a lot of people on youtube like to say that you can fix this method you just want to go to your settings on your xbox and you just want to go to network settings Go to the advanced settings section. Once you're in the advanced settings section, you just want to click alternative MAC address. Once here, click clear. I think it reboots the Xbox and that. But for me, this did not work. It kept happening every time. And I figured out why. I recently got a new router and it was a dual band one. So what was the issue? The issue was that I had this dual band problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to log into our router and I'll show you how you can fix this or what may potentially be the problem. So to do that you can go to your any web browser and just type in 192.168.1.1 or 192.168.0.1 or maybe you've got a bit of a router that has a different way you might be like for example with the TP-Link one you can type in TP-Link Wi-Fi.net or something it's all going to bring you to something similar like this. This works definitely on TP-Link ones, but they may be slightly different for yours. But I think what I'm going to show you will apply to other routers. So I'm in here. I'm just going to log in to my router. So once we're here, we're going to see that I have the two different networks. So what's the difference between 2.4 and 5 gigahertz? Basically, 5 gigahertz is faster and it doesn't have like it's not on the same frequency as 2.4 because 2.4 there's other things on that frequency band so it's things like like telephone landline telephones and a few other things that sit there so the network can get congested so 5 gigahertz is better because it's like faster than that but 5 gigahertz doesn't always spread throughout your home because it's like the type it just doesn't go through the walls the same as 2.4 so there might be a genuine reason why you might want to use 2.4 for some devices or 5 gigahertz for other devices. Now we know that we have a dual band router and we have our two different frequencies. What was the problem that was causing my issue? So on mine, I'm just going to click wireless. And in here, there is a little setting called smart connect. Now this was the thing that was causing me my issue. The moment I turned this off, just toggled it off, my Xbox started working in perfectly fine and I haven't had the problem since for a good few weeks now. So if we read that, it says when enabled, the 2.4 gigahertz on the 5 gigahertz network share the same network name and password. Only one SSID will be displayed and your wireless device will automatically switch connection to the Wi-Fi band that provides the fastest speed. Now that sounds good and everything, but the Xbox just does not like this at all and you will keep getting this error constantly. So what I did was, I just changed the names on my, I turned this setting off of course, and then I changed the names on my SSIDs, just one 2.4 and then five for the five gigahertz one, and just tacked it on the end, and then I haven't had a problem since, because it's only going from one connection. The Xbox really doesn't like any disruptions to the Wi-Fi network. I don't know if you've used mobile Wi-Fi before, but if you like remove the, um, the connection away from it you have to restart the xbox you can't just go and like click connect like you would on your phone or your computer it's rather bizarre but either way this is how it works and this is how you can fix it and i've had a good connection since or you can just use ethernet and that should take out any like like wireless band problems that's the other solution to this there are some other solutions that people have suggested on youtube but i just don't find they work i find this works better but I hope this helps. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.